Vianica, Richard is Maurice, Richard. Maurice. Pardon? Maurice. Sorry, yeah, what's wrong? Richard has quit the scrap. Nice. Richard, Where? Richard has finished the scrap. Where? He's moved to Thailand. Where? Richard, finish the scrap. Go holiday. Uh, Two months. Next month I've got to. No, 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 Richard. Richard is finished. Serious? Yeah. Look, he's just handy. Look, Richard is now a handyman. No, not good. Lie. No, no. Serious. He finished. Too stressful. Gone. Rich? Yeah. Your brother? Yeah. Look, Rich has now become a handyman, making your house a home. So not over. He has one van now, goes around the country, fixing doors. Yeah, man. Good, Mr. Ah, so you said good. Yes. So there you go. If you've got any handyman work, Rich's, um, Rich's number's here. Send him any pictures, any jobs you need doing, and he will handy the man out of it. Fixing door. In last week's episode, you may have seen Rich lost his head. He's retired from scrap metal. He's now got a little Citroen Berlingo, and he drives around cleaning out gutters and servicing pipes for single middle-aged women. So, before we get into today's episode, and it is an absolutely fantastic one, I just want to point something out. This is our tatting pile. It's rammed, right? It's rammed all day long. We've actually started opening up at 5 a.m. to get more vans in. Uh, we go um, above and beyond for our customers, and we want to give them the biggest opportunity to get the most scrap off and get the most money in return for their scrap. So recently in the industry, two issues have come about. Two scrapyards have gone bankrupt, which is awful shame for everyone involved. But they owed a lot of people a lot of money. I just want to let you guys know that HMB Training Metals, we've been going since 1959, and we intend to go for another 100 years or whatever. We are a small family business that likes to put our customers first, and you get paid the same day. You'll never, ever have to worry about your money with us. We like to put our customers first, make sure that what you bring in, you get the best prices for and pay the same day. But not just the best prices, also realistic ones. This is a business at the end of the day and we have to make a profit. We have so many overheads now, the industry is getting harder and harder. And a lot of the scrapyards that are almost overpriced themselves, eventually get themselves into a lot of trouble, like the two I just mentioned. So, over to the new co-star of the Scrap King Diaries. Mr. Matt Rhodes, Will is going out with him today to show you guys some actual on the streets tatting and he's going to show you guys how it's done, tacking style. Yes, Rich. You're right, bro. Yeah, what's this about you throwing in the towel, mate? Nah. Well, you know that I've got you covered, mate. Yeah. Yeah, I've got my magnet, mate. It's in the van. Yeah, tell Harry I've got the axe as well, so no need for you boys today. All right, I'm going to get started, mate. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm at Parcel Force now, mate, so I'm going to shoot. I'm going to crack on, and I'll speak to you later. See you, mate. ta -da. So, yeah, here we are. Rich has threw in the towel. I don't know what else to say. I think we all knew it was going to happen once you see me on screen. Now nah, let's let's stop blowing my own trumpet. We're here today. We're going to start off a typical day in the life of Matt the Tat. And here we are, we're at Parcel Force. We're going to start our first commercial collection. We've got a bit of street collections to do as well today. Not quite street collections. We don't pick up off the street. A pre-arranged collection, shall I say. We ain't got time to be messing about, so we're going to get straight on with it. We're going to get in there, get loaded up, and we'll get our first load in the yard for the day. Let's go, champ! Yeah. However many you can fit. So just this style. Yeah. Do you want me to show the other stuff down there? If you could, yeah. if you could, just yeah. so I've got a scope of everything that's that's available to take. 
scrap metal collectors they're tarnished with that sort of thieving brush as you as you probably know i'm not that guy yeah. i'm here today to show you that i'm not that guy and whilst i've got your attention yeah. there's my environment agency waste carriers license yeah. and there is my scrap metal collector's license perfect <laughs> sorry there's so much no it's the more the better for me It's all steel, I can take them. And when I'm finished as well, I'm gonna make a, a donation to a charity of your choice. Okay. You happy with that? Yeah, it's great. Yeah, so I've, as you know, as you read in the post, we're out today, we're filming um, a day in the life of a legal scrap man. Yeah. We appreciate you um, supporting the small business and, and getting us in today. Well, we'll see your post on the, on the gully comment. Thank yeah. you very much. Cheers no for your time. Right. right, here's your copy. Thank you. No problem at all. And shall I just crack on and yeah. leave when I'm yeah, when I'm full up, yep. perfect. And I'll send you a message a bit yep. later. Thank you. Thank you, Stace. So not, not sure whether you've just seen, but we've just filled out a waste transfer for everything that we're taking today. Stacey's just took us for a walk around the site. There's plenty of metals here, and they're gonna have me back on a monthly basis. This is my first time to this site, so it's a win-win as far as I'm concerned. We're gonna get loaded up now, and we'll see what we can get today. So our first bit of metal for the day, some crates, yes. Gonna be a good day. So if you look at these, we're told these are some of the makeshift containers that they use to bring over cigarettes and any other contraband like that. All it is, is a big old fag box. Get in. Another storage box for contraband, but you would think that was some sort of duct in or filter or something. But again, it was stuffed full of cigarettes. Ah, they're on to ya. So again, saying about them hiding contraband, what looks like a deep fat fryer of some kind, actually isn't. It's crazy what you see, isn't it? And the moral to the story is, is if you've filled any of these full of weed, cigarettes, or any other products that you shouldn't be filling them with, just know that it's not getting to its destination. <laughs> Just to show you guys the lengths they're going to hide these cigarettes. And I'm going to hand these in at the end, but these were uh, obviously missed. Tell you what, mate, they're having a field day here. Look at these. They ain't no English fags, are they? Intense purple fizz. We'll add them to the cigarette pole that we're giving back. Bonus round. You've unlocked another two boxes. <laughs> oh, and what do we have here then? Cigarettes, 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 cigarettes. Cigarettes, cigarettes. Someone's slacking in there, letting a few slip. Funny old game, isn't it, this tatting? <laughs> All right, okay. thank you. Just tell her there was even some of the rubbish. All righty then. All right, see you later, my love. 20 past 11, load one. Should be at the yard for 12. Wade in, and we'll go and do a few domestic collections. <laughs> and we're here. It's a pretty looking queue, isn't it? Nice one, cheering. So we've just got our weight. We're gonna get in this little bit of a queue now and we're gonna get tipped off. And we'll see what we get. So what do you guys think that we're gonna get for this load of shearing? Drop it in the comments because we always read them out. How are you, mate? All right, bro. How's your day been? We're going, we're going all right at the moment. We're 12 o'clock at the moment. Providing you get us in this yard a little bit quicker, we're gonna get tipped 
and we're going to go and get our next load. But it's, uh, it's been a bit of a chaos morning, to be honest with you. We were open at 5 a.m. this morning to try and let some of the tatters get in and get out, try and break the queue down a bit, and it's just not, it's just not done any, any. You've any got sort a successful of... scrapyard, haven't you? It's trying, mate. It's hard work. <laughs> well, we need the perks look, 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 today, mate. We need you there, to get the whole in. yard off. This is why it, there's a queue as well because the customers they just park wherever they want. They're yeah. a law unto themselves. That's they what do, they are. They do what they want, mate. Well, we went out. Got a commercial load this morning. Yeah, just the one from Parcel Force you were telling me this about. This is Parcel Force, yeah. Yeah, some nice stuff. Straight tip, Matt. Today, are you going mate. And as well afterwards? Yeah, we are, yeah. Yeah. We got Best a, of both worlds. We've got so much to collect today. We're in a major rush, mate, so I need you to start cracking the whip in the yard. Go on then, I'll get you in. Let's find nice some one. space. Yeah, that's fine then. Go on then, lovely. Spot on. See you in a bit, bro. See you in a bit, mate. I can, get, I can get behind this filming, Lark. I've had a nice productive day at work. We've had a skip from a local car garage, right? All brand new parts, radiators, stars and alternators, all of, the, all of the scrap side of it. Apparently the value of the parts were £50,000 and it's all been chucked to the skip. It is now... Has he, has he come over to join in? Has he come over to do any of the walk past? <laughs> So all of this scrap metal here came from a, a local garage that we service a lot and they've had a surplus of parts. Obviously, they don't need them, but the, 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 the retail value on each bit would be like £50,000 plus. They've just whacked it all in a skip. I don't know whether that shows you how much markup these uh, car manufacturers have on the, on the products. But look at it all, it's just normal scrap really. There's nothing special, a few discs, a bit of alley. A lot of panels, the build that they would have paid for these parts at some point must have, must have been phenomenal. Just goes to show you, one man's trash is another man's treasure, isn't it? So I'm going to turn all this scrap metal now into money. Rich? Rich? He really has, he really has actually had enough, hasn't he? <laughs> Engage your clutch, that's it, lovely. Coincidentally, look who's in the yard, we've got Matt Rhodes and also we've got the Wastemans. So we are trying to organise a, a tat off between the Wastemans and yeah. Matt. Richard's going to go with Matt, I believe, and I'll go with Sean, or vice versa, doesn't really matter. Sean, will you have some hard graph lined up for me? Second, mate. Will you have some hard graph lined up for me? Yeah, definitely. I like, I like my computer work. Yeah. Yeah. So as you can see, there's a few little bits of stainless steel there, but I don't really care about that because I'm the best tatter in the Midlands. Yes! Let's go, load number two. So there, at least we've got some step forward into organising the tatting challenge. Mm. Um, do you know what we should do as well? We should send uh, three vans would be good, you know. We can get Tez back on it. Who wants to see Tez back in the video? I'll text him. But no, you're going to actually not got a commercial job now. You're going back onto the streets to collect what you can find. Yeah, not on the streets as such, not to collect what we find. We've got pre-arranged collections. We've got a big list of, of to go against, but... But not like, is it other businesses or public stuff? This is all domestic, this is, domestic. household stuff. Oh, fair place, yeah. Go on then, well, good luck. Get some nice one. In. I'll, I'll see, see you in a bit. A couple of hours. Nice one, bro. Let's go and see where the money's at. Yeah, glove off. I like you. I like okay. you too. You, only get, you get the VIP service. I do, don't I? And the extra special disc bed, so good show price, you know. <laughs> Have a good day, bro. I'll see you a bit later. See you. Nice one. Okay, so we've just weighed in. Could be better, could be worse, but we've just got £252, as you can see there. We're only halfway through the day. We've got another half left, and this should be the better half because we'll have the non ferrous and stuff like that. And we'll go back to Parcel Force and finish off there at a later date. Cool, on with the next one. Let's go. Okay, collection number one. We've just got here, I think this one's a trampoline. We'll get that one on and on to the next one. Bit of foam there, I reckon Harry will like that. <clears throat> Wee, you see that, baby? There we go, guys. Collection number one done. 
You got that, have ya? <laughs> Other scrap man would have just went, ah, oh, sod it. Not me. Go on then, let's go, 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 go. <laughs> Petrol lawnmower, non-ferrous, yes. Collection number three, washing machine. Uh, wash machines were 10 to 14 pound, obviously depending on the size slab that's in there, size motor and so on, but yeah, about about 12 quid we'll say. The pricing of licenses, um, it depends on the borough, so a scrap collector's license is allocated per borough, so um, Nuneaton and Bedworth, Solihull, Birmingham, North Warwickshire and so forth, they're all separate licenses. So if you wanted to operate in two of them areas, let's say, you would need a license in both of them. Now they are differently priced on, on the size of area and stuff like that, but at an average they work out about 300 quid a year, which in high end sight for a business, they, they, you know, as an expense, it isn't that bad. And then your waste carrier's license, again, I could be wrong on this, but three, 400 quid they are, and that sees you for three years. So in this job, everything's really time critical. We haven't got time to be standing around hoping that somebody comes to the door. So we're just gonna have to move on. We'll send them a message and we'll pick this collection back up later. Lovely. Washing machine. Let's go. Another wash machine to the collection. That's collection number five. There you go, and on to the next one. Small dishwasher. First up, we'll get the trolley for the cooker and then get them both on. Timmy, see you. Timmy. Oh, it's just me. So, Timmy, Timmy. <laughs> Timmy, Timmy. Ooh, ooh. Yeah, it's a bit slow when the engine ain't running. Same could be said about a couple of people I know, but I ain't saying no names. That looks like my chest, like a proper toast rack. But looks like copper. There's actually signs of rust and stuff on there, so I don't even need to put my magnet on that. I know that it's just steel. It's a copper look-alike. Go again. It's another thing as well, we always have to be careful because as you can see, we've got customers, cars around and property and stuff like that. So let's not take risks. As you can see, I was just about to take a risk and try and spin the trolley round. Is it worth that landing on the car and that ruining my reputation? No, it's not. Good everyone, that's what we want. Yes. 
Again, I'm just going to close the customer's gate and put it back how we found it. Just pushing the trolley up to the next one. Busy, busy. There we go. Washing machine. Let's go. Hiya, my love. You're right. You have a what? Sorry, a B day. Yes. What is a B day? It's like a toilet. You have a personal washing. Do you know what I mean? Oh yeah, with you. It has two taps. Yes. Is it metal? No, it's a ceramic. It's practically brand new. Ah, uh, unfortunately, because it's ceramic, we're not going to be able to take it for you. Right. We're literally only collecting metals. You see. Right. All do right. You have a car, I certainly do. Are I'll... you from the council? Or... I'm not from the council, no, um, but I'm fully licensed collector with the Environment Agency and the council. How much do you charge for collection? It's free collection for metals. Oh, could you leave me your card? Because I have a friend that might want to wash your machine moves. Of course I can, no problem at could all. You please? I'll just load up my trolley and I'll bring you one back over. Oh, bless you. All right, my love. <laughs> Whilst on a collection, I was stopped by a neighbour of the customer and she's asked me for a card. She's absolutely flabbergasted that it's free collection and uh, yeah she's a lovely lady too so I'm just going to drop her a card there you go my sweetheart cheers bye bye scrap iron I can guarantee you now he's not legal hello my lovely I think I've come to collect a tumble dryer you have yeah you want to go straight back um, okay yeah. Uh, you'll see it in, in my office. Thank you. No problem. Scrap iron. And another one, tumble dryer. Let's go. And if it's on, it's gone. Imagine calling yourself a scrap king and you don't even go scrapping. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna be able to take that because of the wood on there, unfortunately. Oh, that's all right, then. No problem at all. There's my collector's license. Right, okay. And there's my environment agency yeah. license. Alright? Alright, okay. Do you want me to do that? Great. Thank yeah. you very much. Right, I'll put those in the skip then. Yeah, that's yeah. probably best. No problem. Thank you very much, buddy. Great. Enjoy the rest Thanks. of your day. You've got me as a contact now if you need me in future, all right? Okay. Cheers. See you, bud. Eight. Ah, there we go, a couple of mamas there. Oh, you Debs, you're all right? I'm very well. It's been a busy day and I apologise that I'm late. I'm just going to show you my licences before we proceed. There's my environment agency and there's my collectors. Awesome. All right? Yeah. Perfect. How's your day been? Hectic. Hectic. Oh, just the way we like it. Well, everything's there. Perfect. <laughs> Thank you very much. You are more than welcome. Have you ever had a bad experience from a scrap man before? No? And do you think it's important that as scrap men that we're all, all licensed? Absolutely. Most definitely. Most definitely. Where I live, there's a lot of country lanes and there's a lot of fly tipping and stuff that goes on. So the unlicensed type, they're tarnishing our name all day, every day. So we're constantly having to prove ourselves to people, do you know what I mean? Working our way through these collections now and hopefully we'll get finished in the next hour or so. Oh, but there we go. Thank you. No, thank you, Deb. And like I say, you have me as a contact should you need me in future. Have a lovely day. Thank you. See ya. Ah, look, hiding bits in the bin now, ain't ya? Oh, that's metal. Perfect. There you go. Thanking you. You're welcome. And that's us thank done. <laughs> On to the next one, thank you. Doom, doom, doom. Another one bites dust and another one does and another one does. All day, 
All he's done is sit in the van and fiddle about with his f***ing camera. And now he comes out with one pole. Great help, Will. Thank you, mate. Hey. Is this better, boss? <laughs> Can I have a drink now? It's been six hours. Are you all right with that? Yeah. Yeah. Your hands all right? Do you no. want a baby boy? Or... Um, look. Ah, uh, that's pseudo cream that is it's for your poor hands. It's the first time my hands have got dirty all day. It's 50p an hour work. It's not really worth it. Yeah, look at him. He's going to be straight back to the missus. Oh, grafted all day. Have you shut the gate? Yes. Good. Thanks for reminding me though, Will. I know, it's good for your image. Oh, I'll get the camera. Come on then, grafter. Is it scrappy? Is he a scrappy? Is he? Nah, he's got rubble on. Okay, so we're just at the last collection now. We've still got some room on the van, so stay tuned because we've got a little surprise for you. Hi, Sunita. How are you? You all right? I'll show you my licenses in person. There's the Environment Agency, and there's our scrap collectors. No problem? That one and that one, yeah? No problem. Get there, trolley! Might be getting Will's hands dirty again on this one. Doubt it, though. <laughs> you ready, big man? Yeah. You're not going to whinge, are you? Uh. I know, it's which side you pick, though. <laughs> <laughs> what, the light side? Well, it looks that way, don't it? Uh. What do the viewers think? Who's got the, who's got the ever here end, guys? <sighs> okay, Sunita. Thank you. Slow and steady wins the race. So they say. Yeah, that end is heavier. <laughs> Conveniently. <Yeah. laughs> don't know how. Yeah, I don't know. Wonder why you were shuffling about. Look, I tried out once and I got grease on my hand off the trolley. Grease off the trolley? Yeah. Was it off the cooker, you reckon? I don't know. Unless you just that little bit of manual labour you just did there. Well, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about it. Oh. What's that? You're wearing gloves. There's plenty of... I've got fresh pairs in there for you, mate. You just don't want it to pick them up. I notice how involved you've got in this past half an hour. Let's go. So, as I've just said, we've got a little bit more room left on the van. So, why not take it back old school? And, uh, yeah, we'll get the horn out, shall we? <laughs> nah, things have changed since then. Let's go, son. We've got the megaphone. And jammer up in the window there. Check one. Let's go. Whoa! Scrap I'm going to be honest with you, mate. I've not done this in years. <laughs> well, we're going to have a bash because we know that the viewers want to see it. So let's go scrapping old school. Scrap in any old scrap in. How you doing, buddy? You right? I could. Let's have a look. Come and have a look at this, Will. Thank you. What do you reckon, Will? Do I look good in this? Yeah, we'll sort that out for you, mate. I'm going to leave you a card, though, yeah. and we'll organise some that right. Is that yeah, right? Sound, yeah. sound. If you So I'll give you a card. If you just drop me a text later saying it's me with a car shell. All right. 
I'll uh, reply to you now. Do you have any trouble with unlicensed collectors? So whilst I've got you, I'm just going to show you I'm a fully licensed collector, environment agency and with the council. So I just thought I'd show you that because we're, today we're documenting a day in the life of a scrappy yeah, sorry, legal. Oh, you've seen it, did you? Brilliant. You get a lot of uh, Romanian. Yeah, you get a lot. Yeah, Romanians going round in box fans. Yeah. Not just Romanians, but there's yeah. a lot going round in box fans now. And yeah, that's because if they see a kid's bike at the end of the drive and the kids just run in, they can quite easily throw it in the back of there and it can't be seen, can it? So we go around in a pickup so you can see exactly what we've got. If there's any discrepancies, you can see it on the back of the truck. But anyway, appreciate it. Thank you very much. Enjoy the rest of your day. So there's an example, guys. We've literally been shouting for six houses. That's like nothing for the camera, no exaggeration. Just shows how effective that megaphone can be. There's a prime example, guys. Nice bit of really heavy steel there. And I always ask the customer if they want their plastic tub back. If they don't, I'll just chuck it on and that's Harry's problem. But if they want it back, they can have it back, can't they? Proper good stuff, proper bit of raw iron there. <coughs> Perfect. Let me give you a card. All right, buddy, thank you. Enjoy the rest of your day, mate. Much faster, isn't it, when the engine's running? Or when you're not Top stood on it. Or when I... Get out! <laughs> Scrap iron! Scrap iron! Any old Scrap iron! Scrap iron! Any old Scrap iron! Scrap iron, any old scrap iron. So it's important when you're doing this to be making sure that you're looking left and right up everybody's drive. It's quite fun though, I enjoy shouting like. It's just that the way my business has sort of evolved, um, it's just now based on, on organised collections. I've definitely not done this in a, in a long time, but when you're doing this as well, it's important not to drive too fast. You've got to give people a chance to get up off their sofa, realise what the noise is and come out and flag you down. So it's no good zipping around because you're going to miss so much. Can I get a hiya? So we've still got a little bit of room left on the van. We're going to carry on shouting now. We're going to try and see if we can get a little bit more on there. Just make sure that you tune in next week to see how much we got for the load. And don't forget to drop in the comments your guess because the winner is going to win some merch. Get in! Light iron, yes! Scrap iron, any old scrap iron! This is this is the mafia, the Romanian oh, the mafia. mafia. Very good. Where's, your, where's your big gold chains? But the gaffer him is both. <laughs> no, that's the gaffer. He, Together. That's the there, there we go. But he's got a beard and no, I don't. <laughs> Wait, who is that one? My grandfather. The grandfather, man. Yeah. I said, that I tell that. Yeah. I think you're the camera. This is the long long time. This is the first scrapyard. Yeah. The first one. No? Yeah, yeah, up, up in Aston. Yeah, Aston, yeah. Up in Aston. This is the new one we moved to. I know another one. Yeah. 1959 was the first opening. 1959? Yeah. 59? Yeah, 61 years or something. Really? 62 years, yeah. First time you... First time grandfather, Henry, and then... My you father, know, Russell, and, and, after, now and now Rich and I, yeah. After your kids. Maybe, but maybe we're selling and going and living in Spain on a, on a boat. No, 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 you stay here. <laughs> <laughs> Probably, yeah. I can't afford a boat. <laughs> you stuff with hay fever, don't you? Yeah. You know, uh, my pal Bacon, yeah. his auntie died of hay fever the other day. Really? Yeah, auntie histamine. 
<laughs> Look at it. <laughs> Come on in. Oh, Antihistamine. Okay. What? Um, um, of course I get it. Oh, you get it now, do you? You just, you just mugged yourself off on the old YouTube. I get it, anyway. No wonder they're all moaning because they're in the middle of the road. <laughs> <laughs> we had a. Uh, some of my neighbours were taking photos of our queue the other day, apparently, upset about it, and obviously it is an issue. There's not a lot I can do about it. It's like blaming me for being good. It's not my fault everybody wants to wait at the scrapyard.